This video is going to review the basic setup functions on the PMD200. To show this, we're going to jump into a new layout and start from scratch. The first thing you're going to see is the stationing setup screen where it's going to ask you to station and set up your tool. For my example, I'm going to use a PDF to explain this process. Here I have a basic drawing where I'm given my grid lines and my dimensions. Let me show you how I would station this tool to lay out some basic wall work on this drawing. Let's say, for instance, in the field, I'm given access to this A3 intersection point, and in the field, the A line and the 3 line are chalked on the ground. What I'm going to do is I'm going to station my tool by showing it where the A3 intersection line is, and then the direction point I'm going to give it is going to be along the 3 line. I'm going to measure somewhere along this line down this way. So the tool is going to know exactly where it's located, and it'll know the direction that it's looking. Using the arrow keys that you see on the left and the right, I'm able to move my laser to the target plate that is sitting directly on top of that intersecting point. Once I know that the target plate is level and that the bottom of the target plate is lined up right on the intersection with the green laser line, I can press measure to lock in that point. And again, this is the initial intersecting point that I showed you on my PDF plan you can see that it saves that initial point as R1, reference one you can call that. Now it's asking you for your direction point. And again, I'm going to be using this direction point by indicating to the tool the direction that this grid line 3 goes on my plan because that is indicated in the field for me. So I've already measured A3 and now I'm going to jump over here and measure another part of this line with the target plate. It doesn't necessarily matter where on this line you measure the point, as long as you make sure that you are on the line and giving the tool an accurate direction. Again, I'm going to use these arrows to turn the tool and the laser to my new target plate at the new location. Now that my laser has moved to the new location from my R1, I'm ready to press measure. Once your setup is complete, you'll see that the tool is giving you your working range. If you remember from the introductory screens, that you saw when you turned on the tool for the first time, your working range is the R1 to R2 distance multiplied by 2. And what this is telling you is that from the tool, the tool is confident that it can measure accurately at a radius of about 35 feet, or a radius that is double the distance of your distance of your two first points you measured. Therefore, if you need to extend this range, simply make sure that your initial line is as long as possible. Keep in mind that the tool itself has a diameter of about 164 feet that it can maintain accuracy within according to the specifications. Once I'm happy with my initial setup, I can go ahead and press confirm. Now that you've seen the basic setup for a PMD200, please leave any questions in the comments and perhaps share your own experience on your own setups.